Hey guys, so I know this video is super late and that it's pretty much already mid-July, but I thought I would still do my June favorites video. So if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I have been on medication for my acne. Right now I am wearing makeup. It's kind of starting to fade because I've been wearing it for 12 hours and I'm wearing the Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation and it lasts for 12 hours. So just as its name, it is starting to fade. Um, but I thought I would still do a June favorites video because I always do my favorites and I really love doing favorite videos because it's nice just like looking back at the month and everything that you've been wearing. So obviously for June, I didn't really wear that much makeup because I started my acne treatment June 12th and so I wore makeup the first two weeks of June and then one other time to go to an event so other than that I haven't really been wearing makeup of course like I said I am wearing it now but sadly like it makes me really bummed out because I have a really short June favorites video um, so some of them are hair care products just because I try to focus on my hair instead of my face so that it would make me like less bummed out and blah 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 anyways too long Let's get into it. So the first two products I'm going to show are amazing. They smell so good. So this is a shampoo, the coconut milk, and this one's my conditioner, the coconut water. They're both on the brand Organics. I have two other shampoos and two other conditioners. They're all different kinds. I try and mix and match, uh, mix and match them as much as possible. But these two are the best just because I'm obsessed with the smell of coconut. Like. Oh, it smells so good. Like, oh, they all do really great things for your hair. So it's really hard to pick which one I love the most. But whenever I do my hair, I just like smell them. I'm just like, I don't know which ones to pick. So these two are amazing. I'm so, so happy with this. The whole organics brand, like everything that I have. I can't remember exactly which shampoos and conditioners I have, but they're all great. Another hair product is this R&B. It's like a leave-in hair moisturizer conditioner. You can use it as a heat protectant. It has like a really interesting but good smell. I don't even know what it's like, but I really like it. So uh, I haven't really used that much considering I do use it quite often. I just put it in like the ends of my hair so that um, it like livens it up a little bit. And then I do my hair wand. Another favorite, still more hair. I don't, there's like a big cord, okay. So, um, I have another hair wand, but this one is amazing. I got this from a coupon code that Zoella gave us, her viewers, and it was only $49 for this. It's amazing. It doesn't have like, um, showing you the temperature, but that's okay. My other one doesn't either. I just really like it because it goes from like smaller to bigger, and it's really easy to like twirl your hair on it and that's what I used to do my hair and it's I did my hair this morning and it still looks really nice I think I don't even wear hairspray so and my hairs are really thick and heavy so I'm in love with this oh my god I've only had it for like two weeks yeah I got it two weeks ago today I think and I'm just in love and so yeah it's just amazing um the next thing is super dirty so I'm, I'm sorry in advance my hair is all over it but Tangle Teaser, I am obsessed with this. If you watched my last Is It Worth It video, I talked about it. I'm sorry, there's like so much of my hair in it. This is disgusting. But this is the best brush. I got it at Sally Beauty. And it was $17, but it's literally worth every penny. Like, it just, I can brush my hair because I'm going to shower. So I don't really care if it goes down. But like, see how like gently it goes in? And it didn't even ruin my curls. Like, it still looks really nice. And it's not pulling or anything so I talked about it in my is it worth it video so if you guys want to know more about this then definitely watch that video I can't even stop brushing my hair it makes me want to brush my hair all the time and when it's wet oh my god it just glides through I don't even like dread brushing my hair anymore and I used to a lot Anyways, moving on, um, the next thing is skincare. So this is new. I, I actually just got this yesterday, but I have been using this brand since April. So it's the first Aid Beauty. Oh, that, there's like a glare. But Alex is being very vulgar right now and distracting me. It's really annoying. 
Oh. I had to stop recording because Alex is right beside me and he was distracting me. But anyways, so this is my cleanser and I'm in love with it. This is brand new. I just got it yesterday at Sephora. But I used the smaller one that came in the Fab Fabes to go and it's probably like that big. And this one's 5 ounces. The other one I think is 2 ounces. So this is really amazing. It's like nice and creamy. Has a good rich texture. Very moisturizing. Doesn't strip your skin. It's very like natural. I'm in love with this. So this is like the best thing. So I can't wear makeup. Well, I'm wearing makeup right now. But I shouldn't wear makeup all the time. So this makes me feel better at the end of the day. It like gets all the dead skin off. And it's just great. Now I have a few makeup things. Oh no wait, one more. Not Well I guess this is makeup, but I wear this every day. Okay, so this is my bite. This is so mangled looking, oh my god. So my bite agave lip mask. It's amazing. It's $30 at Sephora. Um, clearly I've used a lot more than I thought I have. So definitely recommend this. Oh my god. There's still a lot left in here though. I've only had it since the end of April. So like two months. Oh my god, I've had this for two months. Okay, I get I use it a lot. So that's two months and there's still so much in here. Like you can see it's actually not that flattened out. But yeah, so this is amazing. I love it so much. And then I have two sprays. So I have the Max Max Mac Fix Plus. Um, so you just like spray this over your makeup and it's like a drink of water for your skin. It's just very refreshing. And then I also have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I really want to order, um, not the full size one, but like the $15 one, which is obviously bigger. So I'm considering ordering that from Sephora because I really, really love this. And it's it's not like bad for your skin. It won't break you out or anything. So both of these, even together, I like because this like makes your makeup like look more natural and your skin looks better and then this keeps your makeup on longer. I didn't put either spray on today just because I don't want to like shock my skin from going from no makeup to a bunch of makeup so I just put on my foundation. I didn't put like powder or bronzer or I don't, I don't wear bronzer but like a highlighter or blush nothing. I just put my foundation on so I will like slowly ease my skin back into it because I don't want to break out more than I already have. Moving on, so I love this brush even though I don't really get to use it that much anymore. It's from Ulta. It's um, an expert face brush from the brand Real Techniques. Can't really use it right now, so, um, but I do love it. It's amazing. It's just like very gentle and it buffs it right into your skin. It's amazing. I love it. And it's only like $8, which is great. Uh, the next three things are limited edition. I don't think they're available anymore because they're all sold out. But the first is from the Alluring Aquatic line. It's an extra dimension eyeshadow in the shade Lorelei. So it's like, a, oh wow, I'm like way over there. So it's like really nice, I don't even know, like a brownish, goldy, I don't even know. It looks like that. It's on my eyelids right now, so yeah. Um, but it's just really, really nice. And it has really nice um, like coverage and pigment and you can wear it dry or wet. So I did put it on dry but you can wet your brush and then it just makes it like pop that extra bit. Next two things are also from the Alluring Aquatic Collection so you probably can't get them if you love them, I'm sorry. So this is Goddess of the Sea. It's a really nice purple lipstick. Um, I am wearing it on my lips right now, but I'm wearing it with two other lipsticks. So, um, I've worn it in other videos though. So, if you see me with like bold purple lips, it's this lipstick and it's so nice. I usually hate lipsticks, but lately I've been really into them and it actually looks so good on me. Well, I think at least. <laughs> and then next is, um, Mystical and it's also from the Alluring Aquatic line. I think they're both cream jeans. Yeah, they are. And I love the packaging, it's gorgeous. It has like little water drops on it. It's just so, so, so nice, I love it. Alex bought me like a bunch from the Underwater Collection, Alluring Aquatic, whatever it's called. He bought me a bunch and I was like, I love you, thank you. Anyways, moving on. 
This is actually from my Ipsy bag from June, and I'm loving it. It is um, a liquid eyeliner, and it has, I can never take this thing off. It has like a really fine tip, which I love. I usually put it over top of my Bobbi Brown eyeliner just to make it more black, and I love it. I'm wearing it right now. And then my last two things are from MAC. The first is, um, this is available still from MAC. It's just the old packaging. The new one is nicer and magnetic. So this is in Soft and Gentle. This is very pigmented. It's going to fly. But it's just like a mineralized skin finish and it's super gorgeous and I love it. I put it on my cheeks over my blush. And my favorite blush is in my palette, my Naked Naked palette with no other colors. I really need to add to it, but this is well dressed and I absolutely love it. It is so nice and I love putting this over top. It looks so good. So sadly I don't have that many favorites this month just because I haven't really been able to wear much makeup. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed it and I'm so sorry that it came out so super late. But I still really wanted to film it because I just love favorite videos and I love watching favorite videos and I just love favorite videos. So um, I know I said I would do Alex's makeup once I got to 30,000 overall views. I have hit that but um, it's really hard filming without my makeup. I did one video with the Is It Worth It Tangle teaser and um, even though the feedback was great from people, it's still really difficult for me personally. Um, I am doing my acne progress videos so every week you will be seeing those. Um, this week is week four so you guys will be seeing that soon or it might be released before this I'm not sure yet but yeah so keep watching that so that you'll see why I don't film as much but if you have any requests just let me know and I can try and like do them all in one day just wear makeup for a day and do them all so yeah just let me know if you want to see any is it worth it videos or anything like that and when I get to 500 subscribers, Alex will do my makeup. So maybe if I hit 500 soon, we'll do like a combo video where like I do his makeup and he does mine. That sounds really, really weird, but whatever. But yeah, so let me know if you like any of these products. Let me know what your June favorites are. And keep liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye.